going live. Alright. Got that covered. Doing a mic check. Test. Doing a mic test. Gonna bring those volumes down a little bit. Oh my Mic check, test, test. Bow, bow. All right, let's do this. We'll do some late night painting. Right, pixel counter, that's right. Special Sunday broadcast. What's that monkey doing there? Get that monkey out of there. How was the sound? Uh, How was the sound? Sound test. Should hear some music. Got some music going tonight. Got some fun music going tonight. How you doing, Pixel Carnage? Good to see you in here, you amazing meatball. Made of stardust. Working on this portrait. Got some good music going. So we've been working on this portrait today. Gonna get a little farther on it, bring out some of the highlights. Make some of the areas really pop on the face. And I have these light sources I'm trying to develop. I have an orange light kind of coming from the left. I got a yellow light on the middle here. And I think I'm doing like a bluish purple light coming from the right as a reflected light. Light source. Oh, that's awesome to hear, Pixel Carn. It's doing great. Feeling good today. It's been an awesome day. Keep hitting the mic. <laughs> so glad you're here with me, hanging out. It is an amazing day to be alive, to be a part of this wonderful world. It's gonna be kind of fun doing this late night broadcast. Pretty chill so far. I'm digging it. Colors are so washed out.
You ever played Final Fantasy? One of my favorite games, Final Fantasy 3. Pretty sure this is one of those songs. I'm gonna be doing a Kefka portrait here in the future. A Kefka painting. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Gotta fix that nose. I've never played a Final Fantasy game. I mean, it's definitely for a specific kind of person. I really enjoyed them. Especially the uh, the older ones, like uh, Final Fantasy 3 and, uh, and 2. You owe it to yourself to check out these games. Totally owe it to yourself. It's an amazing game. Definitely one of the formative games in my childhood. <laughs> Actually made me want to become a game developer. To make games like that. Yeah, doing a late night stream. Thought I'd do it for fun. Maybe that you'd be able to pop in here take a look at this. Hope you're doing well, Maddie. We got some music going, we're having fun here. Keep hitting that mic. Have you told her about this yet, by the way? Or is it gonna be a surprise? Emelith, you're an amazing broadcaster. Thank you so much for that follow. Coming in here. <laughs> that is awesome, Maddie 7 I'm so happy to hear that. So happy to hear that. Thank you guys so much for being here. By the way, uh, if Amelith says something in the chat, make sure you guys follow her. Click on her name and give her a follow. I'm kind of working uh, tonight, so I'm trying to keep up with chat. It seems like it's going to be a nice, chill night. Frogin86, how you doing? Welcome on in. We're having a late night chill stream. This is actually paid for by you guys. Uh, working on a commission right here. Totally paid for by the stream, for the stream. So why not put it back into the stream? Oh, Amalith, thank you for that host. <laughs> thank you so much for that host. Really appreciate that. <laughs> so exciting to have other broadcasters in here. And by the way, Amalith, uh, if you haven't checked it out, Amalith, take a look at the uh, reddit.com r twitch creative. <laughs> Thank you for that. Host. Appreciate it. But yeah, check out the uh, the creative subreddit there. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit.
So I started off on this portrait with the uh, the background. I laid that in about two days ago with the purples and the blues. Came on top with an underpainting with just blue paint. Now I'm working on the, I was working on the mid-tones earlier today and now I'm working on the highlights right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm actually doing a, I'm doing a late night stream tonight, so hopefully I can get Get some other people who haven't seen me before, and we're also going to work on something that you guys paid for. This is a this is a commission I'm working on from the stream. Thought I would show you guys the whole process. So I haven't touched it since this morning uh, when I worked on it. <laughs> Hang on, what is up with the colors? Something weird with the colors here. Let me try this. That should help a little bit. Yeah, the orange is, it, it's appearing a lot more orange on the camera for some reason, so. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, Amalith, that, that is not true. You are an amazing painter. I really enjoy the character drawings that you do. By the way, guys, click on her name. Give her a follow. She does really cool character drawings. They're really detailed, really intricate. You spend so much time. Give those so much love. They're beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here, Amleth. I'm, I'm glad you're hanging out with us. From Australia, right? I think that's correct. I think Death said something about that today. Death Sculpt, have a cactus cooler. Take it and go. Take it and go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm really trying to bring attention to the creative community on reddit.com uh, slash r twitch creative. We really need to come together as a community, uh, get a logo, get some a core set of rules for broadcasters. Because they're not out there right now. There's not even in the, the terms of service. There's no wording for creative streamers right now. That, that is great. I love that. Mic check. I, I turned up the mic a little bit. Let me know how that is. Death. He's a, such a cool broadcaster. Have you seen? Have you seen Amalith? Have you seen that? Oh, you can't see. No, wait. You're listening, Amalith. You're you're listening in. That's right. You'll see. You'll see someday. You'll see. <laughs> Get back into this so I'm pulling out those highlights uh, then once I've got that base skin tone down I'm going to to take it and do some of the specular highlights the reflected light all those colorful kind of lights in there that I love putting into my paintings so that you get all those those vibrant colors uh, without having outlines without having outlines <laughs> it's so unfortunate that's so unfortunate your uh, your internet is the poopies. I'll fade that shadow more. I am so di addicted to the reddits and the and the twitch. I love that um, I love that you can bring a community together on on reddit um, and the twitch community is is so vibrant it's so explosive right now it's so cool but we have no place to really gather all of our ideas so it's a really good place for that. All right, we got that cheek right there. Highlight. This is loud. Oh, you have a team speak. Awesome. I'm definitely down. I'm, I'm thinking about doing things like um, 
multi-broadcast, maybe where uh, we teach each other techniques and work on one painting together, kind of like the same kind of painting. Definitely going to do that in the next, um, in July, we're gonna be, I'm going to be doing a bunch of that stuff. And Amalith, did you know that July is paint a kappa month? Or create a kappa? Maybe you're not a painter, you can create any kind of kappa. That's what we're going to be doing in July. <laughs> I, it needs to happen. It really needs to happen, Amalith. That's why I, I, I'm pushing for it. And it's such a cool community, the, not only just the, the broadcasters, but the viewers. The viewer community is amazing. Constantly amazes me. Oh, you're painting a Kappa tomorrow. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. One thing I want to do uh, is propose uh, an icon for the Twitch creative channel. And I think what, we're, what I want to do is assemble everyone's Kappa image together into one image. I mean, we might get, you know, 50 submissions. We might get five, whatever. I'm going to put them into one image, send them to Twitch staff and tell them this is our icon. Look at what we work. We, well, look at what we've worked on live on broadcast. Please give us something besides the question mark. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Emma. It's so cool when you, you have a work environment that's like, you, you have freedom. There's rules, but you have freedom. It makes you happier when you're able to, to do what you want while still working. If you guys have any questions about art or life in general, I know this is kind of a chill stream today, but I'm, I'm definitely here for you guys if you have any questions about your art. It's your virtual studio, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I got the base skin toned down. I'm gonna work on the eyes. The eyes are a detail I like to leave for last. Definitely like to leave them for last. By the way, can you guys hear the music all right? I can turn it up a little more. Yeah, Frogen, I mean, that's that's the coolest, coolest thing. <laughs> I was listening to your stuff the other day. Actually, wait, Frogen, am I, am I thinking of the right person? Yeah, yeah. We were we were jamming out to your tunes uh, this morning. Actually, I played them. I played your broadcast from uh, Saturday on the stream. <laughs> so expect a raid in the future if you're streaming at the same time I am. I love changing the channel, raiding people, showing people what what's out there. Oh, Amleth. Uh, by the way, did you know we do Feedback Friday? where we give each other constructive criticism on work. Uh, you can share it on my Twitter, and then we'll talk about it um, 
on the cast. It's really awesome because uh, I do this for broadcasters. I give you guys a shout out uh, as much as possible. It's a good way to show people your work and get a get a shout out. Last one was insane. We had like maybe 10, 15 people who shared, which was um, which was so awesome. Really cool work. I also want to talk, um, not this Friday, unfortunately, uh, next Friday, um, about how to give a constructive criticism. And by the way, speaking of giving shoutouts for streamers in my chat, you guys, Frogen86, he is a piano player on Twitch. You guys need to give him a follow. Maybe you're, you're follow, you're, uh, you haven't checked out the music section yet, but it is really cool. People play their music live. Um, what I liked about it is I was able to interact with him while he was doing his improv stuff. Oops, sorry about that. Hit the mic. It's on the other side. Okay, Thursday. Okay. How long have I been painting? Probably about um, 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful day out there. It is a wonderful day to be alive, and thank you guys so much for spending it with me. 12 years, yeah, Pixel. Actually, it's been longer than that, 14 years. Yeah, I've been painting for 14 years. Not not professionally, not um, all the time, but I started painting 14 years ago. Um, no, no, I'm wrong, 12 years ago, it is 12 years ago. Because I, I took my first uh, real painting class when I was t when I was uh, fourteen. <laughs> oh, don't be ashamed about it. One thing I always say to people is, don't compare yourself to other artists. Be inspired by other artists, and compare yourself to your own work, your past work, so that you can be a better artist. It, it helps you um, look at your better art, your art. And, oh my gosh. Broken equilibrium. Thank you so much for that follow. You are an incredible, incredible meatball made of stardust. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in to the Massiverse. <laughs> really appreciate that. All I try to do is get one new follow a day. So thank you guys so much for those those follows. Try to bring a little Bob Moss into your lives. And uh, I usually go through my process a little more and, and teach you guys, uh, try to teach you guys some techniques, but today I'm just kind of rushing through it to work on this commission. I didn't get time to, to really work on it uh, earlier. <laughs> oh, Amalith, I, I know what you mean. Um, I only started streaming in May. I already feel like my work is improved, my work ethic especially. You, you feel more, I don't want to say accountable or responsible, those feel like very grown-up words. <laughs> Definitely inspired. <laughs> Not grown-up, you know what, you guys know what I meant. Alright, so I'm kind of getting the, the base skin toned down, I have some of the purple shadows still in there, we'll bring those out again. Get her dimples in here. I'll shade her cheek with um, like a, a red orange and get her neck to pop out here. And I don't know how long I'm gonna paint tonight. I'm gonna have fun tonight working on this. For one of you viewers out there, and thank you so much for your support, you guys. Amelith, Amelith, you're so right. I, it's, it is a job, but it, it doesn't feel like work. Um, let's see. No, we'll keep, 
we'll stay with the filbert. We're gonna stay with the filbert. All right, so I wanna mix some, um, we'll mix some purples up here. Mix some purples up. I gotta get a, a palette. Everyone keeps making fun of me for my paper plates because I broke my glass palette. <laughs> uh, this will probably ship uh, USPS Media Mail, uh, which is for teachers. So I'm trying to uh, make this a lesson as well so that I can ship it that way. Sell it as a, a teaching resource. <laughs> and that usually takes about um, three to four days, depending on how far you are. You get a bit of anxiety, Amalith? Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Art is amazing for helping out with uh, anxiety and all those issues. Okay, we're going dark for the eyes. Don't worry, we're going to pull them back out. Just trying to get the shape right. Good thing about pain is that you can layer it. You put the darks down, you can put the lights on top, as long as you're using a, a nice quality uh, paint and it's not too thin. Oh, that's amazing, Amalith. That's so awesome that you can you can work through something, because that's really what it is. It's all that's all you, just working through those issues. The best way to do it too. Streaming has really helped me out as a painter and as a human, as a meatball made of stardust. <laughs> Uh, I use golden paint. I really like golden acrylics. I use their fluid body. I'm using their fluid body right now. Their heavy body uh, is also really good. It feel, it's it paints like butter. Absolutely gorgeous paints. Have you guys ever wondered why why artists are always like holding their paintbrush up to things? You guys ever seen that? That's so you can measure the uh, the angles. So if I if I was looking at his lip and I said, oh that's a that's like a that like a 37 degree acute angle, and then I go over and bring it over to his portrait, I noticed it's too sharp by a few degrees. So you can change it. Really good if you're doing architecture, that kind of stuff, but also really good when you're doing faces. Thin glazes, okay. <laughs> meat sack, did I say meat sack? I meant meatball. We are all just meatballs made of stardust and together we can create anything. Yeah, I've noticed you really like to build up your, your paintings. I, I'm so jealous that you have the patience for that. I just throw the color on here, the flat color, and then sometimes I'll mix it in or spread it around. Thank you all you amazing meatballs out there. Amalith, Maddie i 7 Pixel Carnage, if you're still out there. I see you, baby. More songs from Final Fantasy 3, too. <laughs> So I kind of bounce back and forth between the lights and the darks. I'm doing the darks right on top right now, getting the general shapes of things. 
the placement of all the features on the face and getting them to relate with each other so that I don't I make sure that my the eye that I do is about the same size as the other eye and a really good trick for getting your eyes to be straight you can hold a paintbrush or something right up to it make sure it's level and then you can take your paintbrush and measure one of the eyes and put that in the middle. You should have one eye in the middle there. Oh my gosh, you gotta follow. Arar Dash. Dash, thank you so much for that follow. You amazing meatball made of stardust. We can do anything as long as we put our minds to it with our amalgamative consciousness on Twitch. I'll give you another shout out, Br Broken. How you doing, Broken? <laughs> Welcome on in. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you guys have any questions about art or life in general, feel free to ask. We're just hanging out tonight. This is a late night stream. Not my normal time to be on, but you guys basically paid for this. So I'm putting it out there. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Oh no, I gave her a joker smile. We'll fix that. The nice thing about paints, even if you make an accident, you can always fix it. You can always fix it with more paint. Wonderbread, how you doing? Are these all your regulars, Amalith? This is amazing. I see you, Pixel Carnage. <laughs> Let's get some more blue in here. Get some more blue in here. Let's get some more. Awesome blues. Is that a wide format printer? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I did a Kickstarter um, in November. I raised over $3,000 um, to become a professional artist. Uh, and I basically made art my focus of my life uh, since that Kickstarter. And I bought, uh, I'm, I bought that so that I could make all the prints. You see all these prints behind me. They're all digital and then I paint on top of them. And I can also print out art for you guys way cheaper than I can if I went to Kinko's or something like that because I have the printer right here. I'm also going to be using it to do some really fun projects, um, including a few on Twitch. Um, so check out the Twitch Creative subreddit if you guys want to see more of the community projects we're going to do. And we're going to make some amazing, phenomenal art and we're going to crash TwitchCon. We are going to totally tr crash TwitchCon with our art, and everyone is going to be talking about the creative section in September. That is my plan for that Reddit up there. Great time to end the song. Chrono. Chrono. Wake up, Chrono. <laughs> yeah, Broken, I, I worked my butt off. In fact, I actually worked myself uh, to have tennis elbow in both of my arms uh, to get that printer. So I definitely did. Did the work to get it, and it's, it's amazing. You have a laser cutter? Oh my gosh. <laughs> By the way, thank you guys so much for being here. It means so much to me that even though this is a totally random broadcast and random time, people are showing up, hanging out. And Amalith, I noticed that comment earlier about um, painting tips. That's what I'm here for. So if you have any questions about art process, or uh, especially if you have work that you're, you're unsure of, I'm here for you to give you blatant praise some constructive criticism, or maybe even some inspiration. That's my plan. I also want to do fun things, since there's so many artists on Twitch and out there in the world, uh, I want to do stuff like how to write an artist statement, how to uh, present yourself to galleries, where to best post your stuff online. I'm pretty new at all this stuff too, but I'm finding it out so that I can share it with you guys. Share you guys, share the love. It's my plan. <laughs> I 
Uh, one thing I really like about these acrylic paints is you can just erase them. If you make a mistake, you can just pull it off before it dries. It's totally incredible. It saved my butt so many times. <laughs> yeah, and we'll all figure it out together, Amalith. That's the plan. We're all going to teach each other uh, tricks of the trade and especially share the attention uh, in the Twitch channel. Like, I do raids. I always do shout-outs if you're a streamer and you're in my chat. And I know you. Oh, that's awesome, Amleth. Yeah, you definitely... One thing I, I found out recently that's really helpful is to set a goal and to make it, you know, make it something that's not going to hurt you, but it's going to push you. Broken Equilibrium, it, it can be, but all I want to do with it is just sustain it so that I can keep doing it. It's all I care about. Actually, that's not true. I care about bringing a smile to people's faces, too. I'm not a comedian, but I do try to keep a lighthearted attitude to maybe bring your little happiness to your day. Retweeting is amazing. I, I'm learning all about Twitter. Uh, I, I only started using Twitter uh, recently. I had one w way before, but I never used it. So I'm definitely learning how to use it from all you guys. Oops. I almost dropped my brush. Thank you, all you amazing Stardust meatballs out there. Really appreciate the support you guys are showing me. Hanging out. Partying with me. Charles, thank you so much for that follow. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust, and together we can create anything. I try to bring a little positive Bob Moss into your lives. See the moss on my back? Call me Monkey on Strike. Moss Bob Moss. This is not my normal time to stream, but since you guys are essentially paying for it. Why not stream it? <laughs> Thank you, Charles. <laughs> I put a lot of work into this stream, so if you guys have any feedback, especially the positive feedback, really like to hear it. Especially things like mic volume or anything like that. Uh, my normal streams are noon Pacific. I start at noon Pacific. I usually go for about two hours, two or three hours. Unfortunately, I can't go too much longer because of my tennis elbow. Hence the weird braces.
Oh, awesome. Glad to hear that, you guys. Glad to hear that. By the way, if you guys see me squinting, I don't need glasses. I just do it to uh, so I can see the, the color as light. If you squint your eyes, just barely so you can't even see it, it helps you see uh, what the light looks like as opposed to what the tone is. Oh man, I really, I, I am so impressed by everyone's uh, dedication to Twitch uh, streaming. People do like 24 hour broadcasts. Maybe I'll do one someday, but my hands right now can't even handle this. <laughs> but I love it too much. I'm never going to stop painting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. I picked up squinting uh, when I started painting as an impressionist uh, in in uh, college. It's getting hot in here. Sorry about that, had to open a window. <laughs> it would be very hard to paint for 24 hours, Charles. <laughs> oh yeah, but do uh, multiple people doing the same stream? Yeah, it'd be really fun to get multiple people doing the same stream. Ink One also has ideas for doing uh, dual streams. I'd love to do all these kinds of things, especially since um, the the creative section feels like it's so it's so um, it's it's exploding right now. It's totally exploding right now, but no one knows about it. There's so many awesome artists on here. Thank you so much for that follow, Ixi92. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust, and together we can create anything. I'm Moss or Bob Moss. I do uh, teaching on on the Twitch. I to show you guys some art techniques. Uh, Fridays we usually do something called Feedback Friday, where you can share your work. I'll talk about it, give you some blatant praise, constructive criticism, and inspiration. <laughs> Follows meatballs. Hunger. It has been a crazy day, so thank you guys for chilling with me tonight. It's going to be kind of a chill stream tonight. I'm usually a little more hyped up, uh, especially in the mornings, or if we get raided or anything like that. Oh yes, I, I am a professional artist. Hang on, let me show you. Mm, one second, one second. Uh, I'm a professional. See, they gave me this hat. That means, that means I'm a professional. I basically learned stuff like color theory in school. I learned um, I learned how to read books. But painting is is something that you really have to play with. So I would say I'm I'm a little bit of both, self-taught and I, I went to school for it. See, they gave me a hat. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, let's see here. So worked on her highlights. We'll do some highlights over here. For my skin tone, by the way, this is an awesome trick. A lot of people just make pink. You want to toss a little yellow in there, and I like using the yellow ochre for that. Really awesome trick to get skin tone to look just so cool. Yeah, the big printer works. Uh, I bought it uh, from a Kickstarter by raising funds from the public, from you guys. So I could print my works, I could work from home, and start start my life as a professional artist. Oh, dear Bobble! Dear Bobble! How's it going, dear Bobble? Guten Tag. Or Guten Morgen, I think it is. Oh, have a good one, dude. That was a hello and a goodbye. You are an amazing meatball. Thank you for coming in here for just that short while. I feel graced by your presence. And ultramarine. Oh, you don't mix them all together. I guess in a little bit. But that's, that's the skin tone color I use. Then I'll come on top with a bunch of um, fun highlights. But yeah, I like to use uh, the titanium white, the yellow ochre, uh, cad red medium, or no, cad red, yeah, cad red medium uh, red and cad red medium yellow with yellow ochre. Let me get rid of my phone here. What's my phone doing in my pocket? Guten Morgen. <laughs> and you do some really cool uh, glaze techniques. I'd love to, to learn from you sometime, so it would be really fun to do a dual stream, share some tricks, tips and tricks. Oh, broken equilibrium. There's so many habits uh, that people get into that um, that are so hard to break. Especially stuff like buying a paint. Like I buy, I buy my paints. Uh, like what colors I like, but I still always go back to the primary colors. Oh, Charles Ryan, have a good one. Good luck. We're gonna be doing uh, streaming at noon Pacific. Uh, pretty much every day. I'm going to be taking a break during the holidays, so I hope it, hope to see you there, Charles. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust. And together we can create anything. Truly magnificent. Indeed. All right, we're going to do some specular, specular highlights. Oh, actually, I need to fix the, the nose there. Some more red. Where's my red? I forgot the red. Oh, mixing paints is one of my favorite things about paint. I love just playing with them, changing them up just the tiniest bit. I feel like I'm uh, like some mad scientist or something. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so I'm gonna get some reds in here. We're gonna get some really nice vibrant reds from the left side. And then we'll get the purples, the lavender color, and the blues. Oh, oils are really fun. Uh, the reason I like acrylics more than oils, um, they're both great mediums. But uh, I really like the acrylic um, because it dries fast. The oils take forever to dry. Forever. And I got too many projects to work on to wait for these oils to dry. But uh, oils are really fun because you can do amazing kind of glazes. They'd actually be really good for your work, Amalith. Uh, you could do a lot of really fun stuff with them. Oh, to dry overnight. Yeah, like liquid. Are you talking about liquid? It also depends on like where you're storing it. If you're storing it in um, in a t closed container, it's gonna stay wet forever. But if you do it like outside, it'll dry really fast. All right, so I got this red light coming from the left there, so it's gonna make all these the skin tones on the left side a little more red here and I'm kinda making this up as I go using the the, the reference but uh, having fun with the light sources oh awesome yeah I'd I need to check out oils again um, I would really love to do oils I, I have an oil painting back here that I've been working on on and off for years but I haven't gotten to finish it yet All right, we're gonna make those eyes really pop right now. Pop those eyes out. <laughs> yeah, Amalith, the summers in Australia would probably help you. Probably help you keep those, those oil paintings nice and dry. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> I guess I live in a pretty humid area. Humid and not very warm. Keep them in the fridge. That's awesome. You keep them in the fridge. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, soak into your other food. I guess it's in a, a, a seals container. Um, let me see. Let's get some specular, specular red impacted lights in here. On the cheek. With a little white on top. Bam. And it goes up the cheek. So the specular highlight is going to be on glossy skin and on the highest ridges. And you usually want to do things like the specular highlight last. Uh, Dwarfen King, I do play video games. I do not play video games on Twitch though. If I ever do play video games on Twitch, it'll be in a different uh, channel. It'll be in uh, my buddy Kurz Jen, my moderator. It'll be in his, uh, his channel. <laughs> Broken Equilibrium, uh, do you stream? Are you a streamer as well? So I've got that red light hitting that left side. Don't have it on the, the nose yet, though. Don't have it on the nose here. And underneath, there we go. Mm. 
And that's going to be all in shadow, so we'll make it a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue in here. One thing I really like to do with my shadows is make uh, complementary colors in my shadows. I don't like making blacks because um, you get these all these grays with the, the complementary colors. You're still going to have some color in there. Oh, use Ustream. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm not getting to the eyes quite yet. That's going to be once I've got all the... Um, all this ready. You know what? I feel like I'm putting off the eyes. I'm gonna do the eyes. Uh, you cannot actually link into my chat. I don't uh, allow links in my chat. But I think Amalith, uh, yes, Amalith does have Twitter, of course. So you can tweet Amalith your work. Or uh, send her a whisper with a link. Slash W Amalith. Eyes, eyes. I was going for the eyes. Uh, yeah, Amalith, that's the, that's what I use for my, my blacks, or, or a purple. Purple, I find, is my, is the darkest color I usually use. <laughs> Amalith is like, yeah, tweet me. I love the Twitter. That's my purple. The purple, the purple dioxin. This is my favorite purple. Dioxazine purple. Golden acrylic. Alright, so I'm gonna use a gray. Hey, come back here. Come back here, reference. So I'm gonna mix a gray out of purple and it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of yellow. Tiny, tiny, tiny yellow. And white, of course. So it's going to be more of a purpley yellow, which is what I want. Nope, too much. Too far. Too far. I don't like sketching out my works. I like to just try it, see if it works, and then fix it if it doesn't work. Not a kind of person who likes to uh, to draw at first. Spend so much time drawing on it. I like to just play with the, the colors. Way too far. More Final Fantasy 3 music. This is awesome. OC Remix, if you guys are wondering. Gassy Man 01, how you doing, you amazing meatball made of stardust, you? Working on a portrait here today. I'm Moss. Welcome to the Mossiverse. We had a pretty hyped up day earlier today, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this chill stream. Alright, let's get some purpley, purpley goodness in here. So I'm using purple shadows, bring out the 
the shadows here. So the yellow light's hitting right on the top. So the ones underneath are going to be in purple. When you have like a yellow light, it's usually going to cast a purple shadow, the complementary color, as the shadow. It doesn't have to be really vibrant purple, although you can do that, and it looks awesome. <laughs> Are there cookies? <laughs> I require cookies. <laughs> So we got this purple shadow, and I'll put this purple shadow underneath, underneath the eyes. Got a tiny little yellow ochre to it to make it more of a gray. Pow pow. And I usually have a little more energy because I stream in the morning. It's a special broadcast brought to you by you and your awesome support. So I'm trying to bring my positive energy to you guys, even though it's a late night stream. But we're going to chill out, paint some shadows. I put about an hour and a half into this before I got raided um, this morning. So I was able to only work on it, yeah, for about an hour maybe. Maybe an hour and a half. Miss Cookies brought the heat earlier today. Oh, Val Dudes! How are you doing, Val Dudes? You guys need to click on Val Dudes if you don't know who he is. Give him a follow. Awesome streamer. Thank you for hanging out with us. We're doing a special late night stream. R1 N4. How you doing? This is a surprise weekend late night stream here tonight. Working on this portrait I put in a few hours this morning. If you haven't been here before, I'm Monkey on Strike. We're hanging out. By the way, Val Dudes, have you checked out the Twitch Creative subreddit? We've got a lot of cool ideas out there for getting a logo for Twitch. We're going to use projects like the Kappa Project, uh, and I really want to get that question mark changed into something. I mean, even the music section, which has been around for uh, less time than the creative section, even they have a logo. So it's got to happen, got to happen soon. Jenny G. Berry. Oh my god, you guys. We have some amazing streamers here tonight. Everyone, click on Jenny G. Berry's name. Give her a follow. She's an awesome streamer. I think she was working in acrylic paints. Yeah, she was using golden acrylic paints today. Good choice of paint. One of my faves. But yeah, if you like oil paints, Val Dudes uh, is the oil painter on Twitch. He is the man. Awesome, awesome. I'm so happy you got to check it out. <laughs> you know that's a good relationship, Val Dudes, when you want to make art for the, the person you love. Oh my gosh, we got a $5 donation. $5 donation. Thank you so, 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 so much. Amex? Wait, what does it say? Amex. Monkey. Here, the, the robot's gonna come in here in a sec. Monkey. Mon monkey. <laughs> thank you so much for that follow. Oh my gosh, thank you. Or follow, that wasn't a follow. That was a $5 donation. That's going right back into the stream. By the way, if you guys don't know, you can check out in my profile. 
If we raise $25, that unlocks a giveaway at the end of the stream. So that $5 is going towards that. And that's every broadcast. Everyone in the channel at the end has a chance to win a free print. Proper artist. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have so many amazing streamers in here. Click on proper artist name. Another oil painter on Twitch. Really cool guy. <laughs> Good morning from Germany. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, Deutschland. How are you doing? Oh, this song this is going to get a little dark. Here, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. It's going to get dark in here. There we go. Nope, that's... There we go. <laughs> All you amazing streamers out there, please take a look at the, the Twitch Creative subreddit because we're going to be doing amazing stuff together, like designing a logo for the, uh, the Twitch Creative community. We're going to be bringing attention to all you awesome artists out there. You guys are amazing. <laughs> it's hangout time here in the Massiverse. You are right, Jenny G. Berry. It's more of a, a, a chilled, laid-back stream. I am trying to give you guys some painting tips and try to keep up with chat, but I'm also trying to work on this commission I got. One of you glorious, amazing viewers out there requested this. He basically paid for me to be here for you guys. <laughs> By the way, Shinken, I see you there. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate you hanging out in the Massiverse. All right, so I don't like her eye. Let's see. Uh, I think it's because it's not low enough. Yeah, there we go. Let me check. Always step back from your painting. If, you, if, you're, if you're sitting here right in front of your painting the whole time, you're going to miss out on so much. Take a step back. So the eyebrow needs to be lower. Nose needs to be up a little higher. And I gotta paint that blue. The Massiverse! <laughs> oh, Val's working on a new stream layout. That's awesome. Really been enjoying that new camera, uh, Val. The one that you got looks so incredible. It's so fun to see all those details, all the, the dimples in the canvas. It's very, very cool. Take a break when you paint. That's true. That's what I was just doing. Yeah, I definitely take a lot of breaks. It's, it's the key to uh, staying that fresh with your painting. Because if you, if you work on something for too long, you're going to get stuck um, doing the same things over and over again. Or you're going to miss out on, you know, creativity that you'd, you'd, other find from, you'd find from other places. Get inspiration, not only from painting, but from the world around you. All right, I'm gonna work on his face a little bit. <laughs> I 
thank you guys so much for being here. I love the support that you guys are showing me. I want to give all that support out back to you guys. You amazing streamers. And viewers. <laughs> I think you can follow them on iPad, actually. I think you, you, you click on the, the video. No, oh, that's too low. Uh, you click on the video and then you click the heart. It is the heart icon. So I'm doing highlights. Uh, I started off with the underpainting, the blue underpainting. Uh, did all the blue shadows and kind of stuff like that. Did the skin tones. Now I'm going to go make sure all the, the things in the, the face are kind of where I want them to be. I don't sketch uh, out where things are. I kind of play with the paint, push it, push it around until I get that the likeness I want. And a lot of the times that means my lines aren't going to be very clean. It's not going to look realistic. But I just want to get the likeness down and play with color. That's what I want to do. Val Dudes knows what's up. You got to have your stream accessible. If you have a bunch of stuff all over the place, you're going to take away from your stream. He knows what's up. Unless someone subscribes, and then you gotta hype it up. Val dudes know definitely knows how to how to stream. <laughs> Every time he gets that sub in his face, I lose it. <laughs> sub in your face. Yo, what you gonna do with it? Yo, what you gonna do with it? But I have my money when it come to collect. Pay up, pay up, pay up. So I'm getting the shapes of the face right, I'm trying to get that likeness down. I'm not worried about details right now. So I'm trying to just push the f parts of the face around, matching it with my reference. Uh, Jenny G. Berry, I do. I do make art full-time. I started doing uh, art f as my full-time thing uh, back in November. I did a Kickstarter that was amazing and incredible and set me off onto my career. And I don't want to... I feel like when people say that, like, do you do it full-time, it's like... I don't know. I wish I could actually, the truth is I cannot work full time. I have tennis elbow in both my arms, but I do my best. <laughs> I do my best. this chin to pop out. <laughs> we have so many amazing streamers out there. Jenny G. Berry, Val Dudes, Amalith, Proper Artist. 
Thank you guys for hanging out. And for this impromptu late night stream. And if you guys have any questions about the, the subreddit, let me know. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out. We're going to be doing so much. So much in the Twitch community. Thank you so much for that, Host Valdez. Recursive Bob Bob Ross for you. <laughs> really appreciate that, host. You are an inspiration, Valdudes. A total inspiration. If you didn't know, I I uh, lurked on. T I've been lurking on Twitch for about six months. So I've been, I've been watching you guys. You guys have inspired me to be here today. So it's it's so incredible to see you guys hanging out with me talking about the future of art on Twitch. We're just partying. Getting weird. Whatever you want. And I usually try to keep up with chat as best as possible. Today I'm kind of working a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, proper artist, there is a new rule here. Let me show you guys. Rule number three, I think it is. Rule three. Noops, nope, not that one. Rule two. Nope. Rule four. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I should actually change it. It's no links, period. I don't want links in my chat. I don't want it. You feel free to tweet it to me, though. Love to love to check it out, just not in my chat. Oh, he just typed Justin TV. He didn't even mean to put a link in there. <laughs> Today with Pat J, amazing art. Uh, is he on UStream or he's a he's a Twitch guy? I haven't seen him. Or is he on? Is he on YouTube broadcasting? What a joke! <laughs> I really hope that uh, they do something about the YouTube broadcasting. It's so bad right now. Or they don't, and Twitch just destroys them at their awesome broadcasting. I'm okay with that too. Cause Twitch is awesome. <laughs> Val dudes, that's so right. There are no rules right now, and we are setting them ourselves. Because Twitch doesn't know what to do with us, honestly. They have no clue what to do, so we gotta we gotta write the rules for them. And they're they're gonna see it, see what we're doing, and immediately follow suit with whatever we want. Because we are, we are what makes Twitch amazing. The the broadcasters. If there were no broadcasters on Twitch, there would be no Twitch. <laughs> yeah, Amalith, uh, the one thing is, I, I can trust people, but it's that one person that gains your trust and posts that one malicious link. I just, I don't even want to worry about that, especially for you guys, because if you guys click on that link and get DDoSed, I'd feel responsible. Morally. <laughs> Are we out of beta? I'm pretty sure we're not out of beta, Fragen. We don't even have a logo. And by the way, you guys should check out Fragen. He's an awesome music streamer. He does piano uh, on Twitch. So I'm fixing these shapes to kind of match uh, the reference. 
That's why I don't like sketching it out. I feel like I'm, I'm, I get stuck in what I sketch out. It also takes a little longer if you do it this way, but I have more fun. You get to play with colors. You get to play with colored mud. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Or something. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, li Liberfer Ale. Danke. <laughs> we try to make this an awesome place, and if you can't tell, in the chat, there's amazing broadcasters, there's awesome viewers, you guys are all incredible. And by the way, thank you for that $5 donation. I don't know who gave that to me, but thank you. I think it was Amos. Going right back into the stream. This commission actually bought this mic stand and mic thing here, so all of the money I get from the stream goes back into the stream. Make a better place for you guys. Doing the Val Dudes lean. I love watching Val Dudes do that. He just sits back. Mmm. Fixes problem. I, I love that. I love watching him do that. It's so satisfying. <laughs> you guys are talking about how awesome Val Dudes is. Awesome. <laughs> oh, this is such a cool community. Such a cool community. <laughs> yeah, Val dudes, I totally do that too. I, I do it sometimes where I'm just sitting there like squinting at it, trying to get that same effect. Just gotta stand up, take a step back. Or turn up the music, that's a good idea. It's also a good way to get the creative juice flowing. How human they are. <laughs> that cheek more rounded here so I'm gonna get that transition from the light color to that color maybe a little more red and then I'll fade it with some yellow orange yellow ochre cadmium cadmium medium red Boom. <laughs> Cocky and arrogant, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, that's one thing I always try to do is whenever I give praise, I'm giving it for a reason. And if I want to give, um, if I want to give you feedback, it's going to be po wrapped in positivity, but it's still going to be constructive. that to fade a little more on this side so I got that kind of reddish light from the left yellow light from the top and I still have to do that blue reflected light I'm just gonna do that because that's really fun artisan thank you for that follow you are amazing a meatball made of stardust that Together, we can do anything. Gotta get white, gotta get blue, got blue. 
<laughs> yeah, Twitch is all about the live chat, interacting with the chat, so I do apologize if I do miss something. You can always at me if it is importante. Oh, she's got a... been getting her cheek wrong this whole time. It's like over here. some smooth jams here tonight bringing you some smooth jams hope you guys are doing well out there in twitch land shout out to all my lurkers out there lurker love we love our lurkers here we let you lurk but we also love you we also love cookies here too Yeah, that's true, uh, LaBeef. Can I just call you LaBeef? <laughs> it, it's, uh, streams can get really congested. Where you have to donate to actually talk to the person. Uh, that's so ridiculous. Reflected light on her cheek. <laughs> no, Mish Lich. I see you, and I totally agree. Proper Artist has a really nice stream. I enjoyed uh, listening to that documentary about um, Batman hanging out with him while he painted the Jokers. Forsen, just Google Forsen, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Amalith. Proper's uh, a really humble artist that's extremely talented, and he really gives off that vibe that, like, yeah, if I wasn't videotaping this, I'd be doing this. I'd just be hanging out, painting. Painting the Joker. <laughs> such a cool such a cool way to uh, present yourself. He's just, he's just a human. But I'm just a meatball. Only ever gets a little bit Sarah shows up. You're you're totally right. <laughs> Definitely love hanging out in Sarah's chat. She's so much fun. Lady Lady Luthien. Can get pretty lewd though. <laughs> It's not even, it's not even like blatantly lewd, it's like just suggestive. Everything is suggestive. <laughs> A meatball made of stardust. I thought that was implied. Did your, your brain just needed to hear the rest of it? Uh, LeBeouf, Le have you never heard of the term uh, lurker before? Lurker is someone who hangs out but doesn't say anything. What is this music? What?
<laughs> yeah, I love how everyone has their own community that's kind of built around their personality. It's so, so incredible. Val's chat is always talking about cars and, and women and just being awesome. <laughs> And my community talks about Stardust Meatballs. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm, only I'm the only one talking about it. All you guys are just like, what is he talking about? A weirdo. Oh, Broken, see you later. Have a good night. You are an amazing meatball. Thank you for hanging out in the Massiverse. The portal to your dimension is always open. Noon Pacific. Oh, that, that highlight, that's not even there. I gotta get rid of that highlight. Good morning, Phantom. Are you a Deutsche, Deutsche dude? Well, Guten Morgen. I think I remember, I remember your name from the follow train the other day. How you doing? Was ist los? It's kind of a chill stream tonight, totally random. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. <laughs> That's so cool about about the internet too is you're gonna find that passionate person that knows um, like you can ask a question you could be like so what what kind of car or what kind of engine is the, in this car and that one guy who's really enthusiastic about that car is gonna be like in, in a few seconds he's gonna have that answer right there for you I love that about the internet everyone just shares their passion whatever it may be Colors are so weird. Let me try something from a different angle here. Well, the colors are still really weird. <laughs> Let me try something here. Configure. Eh, looks better. Guten Morgen, last Mohawk. How you doing? Was ist los, meine Meatball of Stardust? Oh, let's see. I learned a German word today. Uh, amazing is Erschuldigung. Erschuldigung. Did I get that right? Jim <laughs> Faltoots, you're totally right. I, I always imagine it like I watch people like Mr. Moon streaming. I always imagine him walking down the street and having like 5,000 people talking to him, like, uh, <laughs> I, ha I have to paint it someday because I have a really funny image of streamers trying to talk to hundreds of people. Wunderbar? Oh, maybe it's Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Er, er, Schuldigung. Yeah, maybe, I'm not saying that right at all. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Paint it. Need a moss t-shirt. Oh, I should design a moss t-shirt. You're totally right. I've been thinking about uh, designs for that kind of stuff. I'm not much of a graphic designer, so I might just put a painting on a shirt. <laughs> so maybe I should do like screen printing or something like that. <laughs> oh, Proper, you are so welcome, and thank you for being here. You are an inspiration, absolutely an inspiration. I'm happy I can return the favor in some, some way. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, really, Amalith? I'll, I'll trade you a portrait if you work on something for me. That would be incredible. I, I do portraits to highlight creative streamers. I don't know if you've seen them. Uh, there's Death. Death Sculpt is in the corner up there. Uh, proper Artist is behind behind this one. There's, there's the Proper Artist peeking, peeking through. I hope that wasn't too loud, moving the canvas. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you guys, anyone new in the channel, we have amazing streamers just hanging out here. Please click on, you could essentially click on anyone's name and follow them, and you are going to enjoy their stream. We have Amalith, who's a awesome painter. She does, like, illustration stuff, character work. Proper Artist does acrylic. Val Dudes does oil paints. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Proper Artist does oil paints. I don't know why I said acrylic. Does oil paints. Val Dudes does oil paints. So many awesome streamers hanging out. Partying in the Massiverse. And this is not my normal time to stream. I usually stream at noon Pacific, so it's really nice to have like a chill, chill stream to work on my art and try to hang out with you. I am trying to catch up with chat as much as possible. Oh yeah, so Ink Ink One's painting is up next, um, proper artist, and then I'm gonna be doing Val Dudes and uh, Miss Cookies, and am I forgetting anyone? Uh, I'm also gonna do Fiend. He's a, um, I guess you could call him a character artist. Oh no, he do he does abstract stuff too. <laughs> Thank you. Le By the way, help me with your name. Le, Le Beefer Ali? Le Beefer Ali? <laughs> oh, Fiend is great. Fiend is hilarious. I really enjoy hanging out in his chat. Fiend is awesome. So many cool streamers on Twitch. And it's funny, I, I'm almost... When I when I started thinking about stuff like the the Twitch creative subreddit, it's I'm I'm torn between like not telling anyone about this awesome community and trying to tell everyone about this awesome community. It's kind of a weird uh, dichotomy. It's like it's so cool right now. I want it to stay this this kind of like exclusive secret club, but I want everyone to know that you can you can do amazing stuff on the Twitch, not just gaming and music. Libe, Libe. The meta, oh, Frajan, that's a great idea. I, I, I could, um, well, one thing, I'm gonna be doing Ink One's portrait. Unfortunately, he streams at a different time, but he could always play it, play the, the past broadcast, like in the corner or something. Have his face come come to uh, come to fruition right next to him. So that shadow right there, and I can make the nose a little smaller. This is this is probably why I should sketch out before I, I do my paintings. But oh well. Hey Junior, how you doing? Uh, we're doing a late night stream, so it's kind of it's a private party. Thank you for coming in here. You are so welcome. Glad the portal is open to your dimension.
Yeah, Amalith, it's really interesting how each streamer uh, gets rated from other streamers. I have a bunch of awesome German viewers here that probably didn't even know about the creative section before uh, I got rated the other day. So it's awesome to see all these little subdivisions opening up, but we have to kind of, we got to merge, we got to merge the community together into a super being. Amala, thank you for lurking. Enjoy your food. Thank you for being here. Uh, is there alcohol? Um, I haven't had any. I guess I could go get a beer. What time is it? Pitch it. Pitch, pitch it. Thank you for that follow. <laughs> Thank you so much for that follow. Really appreciate it. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust, and together we can create anything. Gabox, thank you so much for that follow, you amazing meatball, made of stardust. Together, on Twitch TV, with our amalgam of consciousness, we can create anything. And by the way, anyone who just followed me, there's like, probably 10 awesome streamers in the chat right now, please give them a follow. Proper Artist Valdudes, Amalith. Uh, did I miss anybody? Valdudes, Amalith, Proper Artist. There's so many streamers. Hanging out with us. So congratulations, you just found like a compilation of six amazing streamers. <laughs> oh, and proper artists, one thing I've noticed is there's a huge division between the anime section, the anime creative section, and the like traditional artists. So I think that's why we're perceived as, as being like a kind of community but that's okay I mean people if people want to come on here to watch anime they probably you know they might enjoy other streams but maybe they're here just for that so tempted to put some Frogen on again. <laughs> oh, Frogen! That's the other streamer in here. Frogen. I, I just said his name. Yeah. He's a, a streams music, so check him out. Oh, absolutely, Amalith. If, if I ever see a streamer, you know, who's outright negative or, you know, doesn't interact with his their chat, I usually don't follow them, um, and I probably won't check them out again, just because I'd... When, I'm a viewer. I'm, I'm addicted to Twitch, too, so I want, I want a good broadcaster when I'm watching. Yeah, I don't understand the, the, the rude community pitch it. Thank you for being here, you awesome meatball. Trying to create a positive atmosphere for creativity so everyone can be their weird selves. And even though I said I don't like anime, what one thing I'm, I'm always open to is any form of art. So when I do something like Feedback Friday, I don't limit who can share. And we talk about everyone's work with equal respect. And we give everyone equal constructive criticism too, so. Also a great place to shout out streamers. If you gotta share your work on Fridays.
All right, I'm gonna put my brush down, get some water. <laughs> One thing I really like about the, the Twitch community, um, especially the creative section, is that you have that freedom to do whatever medium you want, and there's people out there who want to see it. What's really cool about it. Something I'm inspired by every day. Uh, Le beef for Ale. Chibi is actually a Japanese word. I think it means cute or fat. I don't remember which, but it represents an anime style that's like um, squat characters um, that are kind of cute looking. <laughs> yeah, you should totally give um, give her a follow. Le B. If you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. It is an amazing day to be alive. So happy to share it with you guys today. I'm dropping my brush on my keyboard. <laughs> Bring that up. You enjoy your food, Amalith. Feel free to lurk. We love all types of meatballs here, the lurking kind, the chatty kind. Her hair is not far enough over, I will move it over about a half an inch, half an inch over, yes, about right there. And change this music, it is too chaotic. I'm so happy Frogen stopped in here. I really had fun in his channel, um, listening to his music. It's what we were listening to earlier today as well. Oh man, you make me hungry. Make me hungry. Make that more blue. So I'm just kind of going back and forth between shadows and highlights, trying to get all the, the parts of the face um, to have that likeness. So the right shape underneath uh, the nose is really critical. How big all of the, the parts of the face are, like how big the mouth is compared to everything else. And getting everything like the, the eyes, um, the wrinkles underneath the eyes, that's always important to get likeness down. And the nose shape, that nose shape isn't right. It's funny, there's not really any trick to getting the likeness down, you kind of just have to see it and then compare it. That's, that's the way I kind of work with the likeness.
Uh, I do sell my paintings uh, on Etsy and eBay. Oh, Lavitz, how you doing, you amazing meatball of stardust, you? I also do giveaways on the stream. We've already got a $5 donation. If you guys can see that. If we raise uh, $25, there's a giveaway at the end of the broadcast, which is going to be in about maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> that is awesome, Lavitz. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you showing up to the secret broadcast. Not my normal time, but, you know, thought I'd share it with you guys. Since I was going to be painting this anyway. Tonight. Working on this commission that I got uh, from someone in the stream. Someone, some amazing meatball out there. So we're putting in the, putting in the time, putting in the love. For that very special meatball out there. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, Lavitz. Oh, Frajan, have a good night, dude. And by the way, you guys, if you if you haven't followed him yet, give him a follow. Just try him out. Follows are free on Twitch. He plays piano. Really cool dude. Oh, his nose isn't big enough. Is that what it is? Yep, yep, that's what it is. Boom and boom. I think I got it. I think that's it. I'm gonna put my brush down and take a step back. Yeah. Uh, Amalith, I haven't really had much luck selling on Etsy. I've even tried doing promoted postings. The most luck I've had is from Twitch uh, telling people about my Etsy. So I'm keeping it up just because it's a really good um, way to kind of organize all the orders and, and listings. But my listings on there are incredibly confusing because uh, I have so many things to sell. So i got to figure out a better way to, to actually organize the Etsy page. <laughs> So people will buy it. Get that white right here. There we go. I'm not trying to go for very uh, realistic colors. I have kind of a weird light source, like a orangish red from the left, yellow on top, and then I'm doing like a blue kind of purple uh, reflected light and uh, cast shadow. I guess the cast shadow is blue all over the paint. Uh, Labi, I'm gonna have to look into international shipping. I have so many awesome people from all over the world uh, that I really have to um, I really want to provide art for, so I need to look into that because I know it's going to be expensive, but I want to know how how bad it's going to be. So yeah, unfortunately, right now, do not do international, but that will change hopefully very soon. It just might be kind of expensive. Or I do something where I, I can give you a digital file and you can go to a local print shop and get it printed out. Oh, Lavitz, thank you for the lurk. Thank you for coming in here, hanging out. The support you guys are showing is incredible. And it's 11 o'clock. so much for being here. You amazing meatballs, you. And I, I'm, I'm just kind of chilling tonight trying to finish this project, but if you guys have any questions about art or life in general, 
I'm here. Fish moly boondock. Boondock. How are you doing, boondock? You amazing meatball made of miscellaneous star matter. Ejected from the furnace of a sun. Crafted on this water planet we call Earth. Carbon based star matter. Very chill stream tonight. Thank you guys so much. We had kind of a ridiculous day. I wanted to work, I wanted to finish this today. But the raid from Miss Cookies brought the heat. <laughs> totally brought the heat. Another awesome broadcaster, by the way. You guys should all give her a follow. She's not hanging out with us, but you should give her a follow. Boonies. <laughs> All right. Get that right there. Yeah, I can't believe we had we had so many so many new Stardust meatballs today. I'm so happy you guys are coming to hang out with me during this trip this chill stream, chill random stream. <laughs> So I think I want to get the reflectivity on the eyes. I usually make people's eyes purple. That's just kind of a personal thing I do. <laughs> so I'm just going to do it because I like purple. I'm a fan of the perps. Oop, I keep hitting that mic. Gotta fix the top with some purple. He's got crazy eyes. Gotta fix them. The little illustrations. Oh, those are definitely on Etsy. These are definitely on Etsy. These ones right here. This is what the uh, the Etsy page is, yeah. yeah I'm trying to get the glare off. <laughs> uh, these would actually be easy to uh, ship abroad since they're pretty small. I'm definitely going to look into that uh, for you. They're, they're actually postcard size, so that might actually be pretty cheap. Um, I'll look into it really soon. Unfortunately, I'm going to be really busy um, July 4th weekend, so it'll probably be after July 4th. But definitely, definitely going to do that. Purple tastes like grape. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> 